Hey everyone, this is Video Boy, and welcome to Archipelago Devlog number 35. So, just like I planned, this week I added the chat system. So, it looks a lot simpler than the last one, but I think it looks nicer this way. I still have a little bit of adjustments to do with the font, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, but as for commands, I really didn't feel like it was necessary to add any just yet. I did add a few, uh, but not really any big ones. I felt like focusing on more important stuff this week. So I did add two simple commands though, just to test if it works, and uh, it seems to work pretty good. So I have the slash me command. So when you do slash me, it'll print out, it'll broadcast to the whole game uh, your name and then what you wrote after slash me. And slash ping just sends you a message that replies pong. So it's pretty simple. Um, they're very basic, it's probably the easiest commands you can do. So instead of adding useless commands, I decided to spend my time on fixing the collision. And now it works really well, there's no lag. And I can choose to if I want in the future to make the collision boxes smaller for the tiles. But I think I'm just going to stick with this, it looks good enough. And also adding smaller collision boxes requires more CPU calculations, which will lower the FPS overall, so I'm trying to avoid that. And this week, especially on Friday, I also made some major advancements towards fixing the HTML version of the game. So the game can now run, but there's a big problem with connecting to the server and it doesn't seem to work properly. So I'm really close to fixing it, and I'll probably get it done by next week. Also some uh, noteworthy stuff for the chat. Uh, you can do commands using a period, uh, forward slash, or exclamation mark. If you press either of those in game, it's going to automatically add it to the chat box. So that's how you do commands. Uh, if you press enter or T, it's going to bring you to just do regular chat, and if you press escape, it's going to exit the chat without sending the message. So just some basic controls there. Also, the text box that's there right now is just placeholder graphics. It's the default one for the GDX. Soon we're going to have some actual ones that uh, are made by the artist, and it's going to look a lot better than this, I think. Okay, so this brings me to the goals for this week. So continuing with the schedule on GitHub, by the way, the link's in the description if you haven't seen it yet. I'm going to be adding entity loading and teleporters. So this is something that wasn't actually in the old version of Archipelago. So the, in the old version of Archipelago, the way I loaded them was I, when the server started, I manually loaded them with a little script of code, which isn't very good uh, because, well, you can't add more. It's just going to have way too much code just to add entities. And also, even if the map isn't loaded, the entity is going to be loaded that way. So instead of doing that, I'm going to have uh, a little bit of JSON data, uh, JSON, like I talked about in devlog31, and it's going to be saved in the map files, uh, just like I showed in that devlog. So it's all going to be all together. It's going to make a lot more sense. Um, so along with the entity loading, I'm also going to add teleporter entities. So it's basically just an entity that just stays there, and if you step on it, it teleports you somewhere. So I'm going to have some with like particles or some are just going to be invisible if you're going to a new region or something. So yeah, overall this is a pretty easy week for features and I should be able to finish it fairly quickly. So this will give me some extra time to finalize the chat boxes with all the fonts and everything. Uh, I'll be able to add new map elements just like I wanted to add it a few weeks ago. And also I'll probably be able to finish the HTML version and maybe a few other things too. Alright, that pretty much ends off this devlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps a lot and encourages me to do more devlogs like this. And also, don't forget to check out the tutorial series if you want to learn how to make a game. Right now we're doing a space game, just like a, one of the old arcade space shooters. And soon we're going to start adding some actual gameplay. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So be sure to check that out. Those videos come out on Saturdays. Anyways, see you guys next week. And have a good one.